All right, welcome back, generals, to another Let's Fix a Generals Zero Hour to make the best game ever. Yeah, last video, we dropped off at the continuing efforts for the CBN Mega Mall, yeah, the winter texture set. Uh, meanwhile, the computer is still crunching through the DDS decompression. And <laughs> since it's using the CPU, it is slow. Uh, it has been uh, working all night and is still going. We are now 43%. Uh, almost 3,000 textures, one day left. <laughs> yeah, uh, I would have to see if I can perhaps utilize the AMD GPU. Uh, if I can't, then perhaps it's time to buy an NVIDIA graphics card. Some nice, big, powerful, super AI accelerated <laughs> NVIDIA GPU. Um, yeah, I think it would be useful to be able to run AI models faster. It's quite slow on the CPU. Okay, but this also means we have proceeded up to CBT already. So CB, CB, uh, CB, oh boy. CB, CBN Mega Mall, yeah. Um, ah, okay, this is the original. We want to go in here. Yeah, okay, let's delete these ones here. And here is our, this is the current folder that's being written to. Uh, CBN Megamall. Okay, there we go. Okay, so here we got the TIFF files. So how about we take uh, all the S files here. This one, this, that. Mm. This, this, yeah. And then we drop these guys to um, to here. Yeah. Reason being, now we can use those at our foundation, perhaps. Let's see. Um, okay, so here we have S. DDS, and here we have the decomped one. The color has changed. Let's um, let's take this one here, put it into here. So this is DDS, right? No, hold on. So this is DDS decomp. DDS decomp, okay. Then we open this one, no. This, copy. Okay, so this is DDS. And this is our, uh, hold on. Uh, here we have the TGA. Let's copy this one. Let's put the, uh, oh boy. Okay, so we put this one here. So this is a TGA. Okay, let's compare DDS against TGA. Yeah. Okay, the colors are very similar. Yeah. Colors are, okay, now let's check the decomp. Uh, 
Interestingly, the decomp also removes uh, the color fringes here. DDS. I think it does a good job at getting rid of the blockiness, right? It's not a magic bullet, but it's making it just a little bit better. Okay, but right now we need to see about that color cast. So let's put actually the DDS down here. Okay, so there's a decomp. The decomp is a little less green by the look of it. Let's compare it against the TGA. How about we um, we take a saturation? Yeah, and we we boost the saturation like really hard. Like 80. And then we compare these guys. Mm, so looking at the roof, for example. Yeah. Oof. Mm. Hmm. They look all very similar to me. Hmm. Hard to say. It does, it, it cleans up the color fringes here, for example, a lot right here on this billboard backside. Like if we compare this against the TGA, that has much more color fringing here. The DDS, obviously the same, but with blocks. And the decomp has cleaned that up a lot. So it, it looks like it also does a little bit of desaturation. Maybe like here we see a lot of different colors, yellows, greens, and here, slot cleaner, here we, here it has the same kind of colors, but with blocks. So the roof is a little bit more orange, red. It's not much. Yeah. Hmm. 
The snow becomes a lot less crispy. Yeah, it's hard for me to say. I mean, I certainly I can see that the the blocks, the blockiness is much better. That's for sure. There is a little bit of a color cast, but it's very minor. I would say the upgrade in quality regarding the blockiness, I think that's a big improvement for working with this texture. Yeah. And then I think for the AI upscale. Now, for this case, it's not that big of a deal because we use a TGA for most part of the image. But what, what I think we do now is we delete all this stuff here. And then we take, we take um, STIF, yeah. And we copy this. And we put that in here. Yeah. Then we select this, mask it, and apply it, and merge it down. Well, let's first compare it. What's the difference? Yeah, we get softer snow. Yeah. It's softer here. Do we like it? Yeah, I guess we like it. Yeah, let's go with it. And then we name this. How do we name this? Um, How about we call it this here? DXT decompressor source V3. Well, it's a 1x. How about we put that in there as well? 1x. Yeah. So we basically bake in the decompression into our uh, winter textures. Yeah, is that fair? Okay, then we take this text and we replicate it here on our other. Yeah. Okay, and then what we do is we uh, um, <laughs> then we take um, DS TIFF. By the way, let's double check that they are consistent. S to DS. Let's take uh, S TIFF or DS TIFF. Let's check them. Mm -hmm.
Yo, it looks okay to me. Okay, and then we... Make a new copy. DSPSD. Let me put that in here. Safe. Safe. And go to SG. Mm. Copy. Does a good job here on this section. Mm -hmm. Okay, apply. And DSG. Copy. DSG. Update. Okay, so now we have updated the textures. That's nice. Okay, let's close that. That okay. Good. Uh, then next step. Next step, we will. Um, what do we do? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, ES, I suspect we start with uh, similar as DS. It would be snow, ES. Let's see what this currently looks like. Okay. Then we take these guys, duplicate ES. No, that's the wrong one here. Okay. Okay, then we move this down here. Hmm, doesn't let me. Okay, so we need the emerged here. Let's copy this and we put it down here. We merge that, he merged. Then we take add snow DS and we need to, we take our ES TIFF and we copy that. And we drop it into ESPSD here. Put it in there. So this is ES with decompress. We apply this mask. And something is wrong. Ah, I didn't copy it correctly. There we 
we go. There we go. Okay, then we match this. Well, CS. Okay, next we do a. Um, yeah. This mask. Put this guys inside there. Then we take E again here. Copy. Then we put E here. Set this to difference and this to normal. Then we enable this. Then we got this thing. And does this look good? Yeah, let's go with this for now. We copy this. And we paste it here. And then we check what does it look like. Yes. Uh -huh. Let's make it larger. Uh -huh. mm. I wonder if we should boost the levels a little bit. little bit more extreme. How about that? Looks okay up here. Here we would need to do some custom painting. Okay, then we do um, another folder, custom damage mask ES, and we put that in there and here we will take a black brush 20% and then we paint where do we paint here yeah okay that's good. Okay, looks fine here. This one we need to definitely paint. Okay, how about that? Anything else? So, yeah, we can probably paint a little bit here and here. Yeah. Anyone else? Maybe here a little bit. Maybe here a little bit. And 
second here. Okay, I think that looks pretty decent. Yeah. Okay, let's compare this with, ah, oh, by the way, we need to um, re update this name here, levels. We put the levels to 30, 0 0.33, yeah. Okay, let's compare this against the original. So this is ES. Yeah, so in ES you have a lot more snow drawing over the damages, right? Over all the damages pretty much. Yeah. Okay, so this I think is certainly an improvement, yeah. Uh-huh, mm -hmm, that's nice. Okay, so our documentation would be ES, fixes floating. Let's see, fix the minor artifacts, recreate large one, fixes floating. Yeah, so we take this and put this here, but we also have fixes snow drawing over damages. Here. Yeah. Fixes snow drawing. Maybe we should put this at the beginning. This window reflections. Ah, no. Fix the snow drawing over damages. Okay, it's a good position. All right, let's keep it. Good. And then the same would apply to RS. Yeah. I mean, that large small windows we can't really see on the rubble model, but. It's part of the texture, so might as well just keep it here. Fix the snow drawing over damages. Mm -hmm. Fix this floating and misaligned damages. Yeah. Okay, so far documentation looks in line. Um, by the way, there's one thing that I yesterday put off video, I think. Um, I was thinking, CBN, that we should add, start adding some metadata to our texture, right? So we can always accompany it with some txt file, just in our source files. And here, I already wrote has baked this. So I would say we be a bit more specific. So we say uses, uses uncompressed TGA summer textures uses uncompressed TGA summer textures uses uses uncompressed TGA plus um plus uh, wait, uses uncompressed TGA summer attractions. Well, let's uh, maybe write it summer textures uses use summer textures using uncompressed TGA, using uncompressed TGA. And then winter textures, we say using uncompressed TGA plus, plus this. Using uncompressed 
TGA plus. Can we clarify this more that this is only for the snow? Plus that. Mm. Let's say for snow using uncompressed TGA for base for I don't know using uncompressed mm, using uncompressed TGA using uncompressed TGA plus that for snow. Maybe use a different symbol and and then uh, night textures that will be recreate ha handmade hand or it's a, a vector vector graphics. Let's say using vector graphics for recreation. Is that, is that a good way to describe it? Summer textures mm. using uncompressed TGA. Winter textures using uncompressed TGA and that for snow. using vector graphics. It's probably using uncompressed TGA and vector graphics. For lights. Is that good? Yeah. Perhaps we put it like so. Basically, um, to describe a little bit how these were crafted. Because like, if we have this data and later on we do AI upscale step, then it would be good to know exactly how these things were composited, these textures, right? So for example, if we know that the source texture is not created on a DDS compression basis, then it doesn't need a decompressing step firsthand, right? It can be straight, can straight go to the upscaler, right? But if we have like using DDS compression as a foundation to build all the textures, which currently is all, <laughs> um, then it would always require a decompression step before we do the upscale. So I think it's good if we are specific and describe exactly what we have. And it also helps us to like uh, do further steps on sets we have already touched to bring them in line with higher quality requirements. Yeah. And basically vector, whenever there's a vector graphic that is candidate for perfect upscale because you just upscale the texture in Photoshop. And if there's a vector graphic that will automatically do a perfect upscale, right? without any AI requirements. So that's big advantage of vector graphics. Okay, I think that's a good documentation. Okay, so we have ES now, then I think next step is we take a copy of this guy and we drop it in here. And then we take RS, this one, and we put it here. So this is now
this this ES merged. And this is rs.dds with decompression. Decompressor source. Uh, maybe we shorten it to DXT compressor source V3. Yeah. Try to keep it short. Well, short <laughs> relatively. Okay, have we updated all? Yeah, this looks good. Looks good. Okay, and here we simply we simply put put this here. Expand it here a little bit. Okay, we apply this. I think that will do. Okay, and then we can um, we can delete all this garbage here. Delete this. Okay, let me delete this one here. Okay. Ah, hold on. We have more here. Hmm. hmm. We have these burn edges thingy. Um, what happens if we just put it over RS? Yeah, makes things dark. Yeah. Yeah, 
us seems to be good enough. You are. You are. Okay. Do we need to do anything else? Don't think so. Okay, we save this and this. Alpha channel we already updated. If I'm not mistaken. Okay, then all the winter textures should be good. How about um, we create a copy of this file and we put it here and we call this dot meta data dot template dot meta data template. How about we call it dot meta dot txt and we call it template. Let's go back to CBN CBN Mega Mall and we call it Mega Mall dot meta dot txt. Does that make sense? Perhaps we use here also smaller. Yeah. Summer, winter, night. Ah, hold on. Mm, summer. Perhaps we should uh, clarify summer day, day, and then summer night, and summer winter night, and then and then so like this. I think that is a correct clarification. Okay, back to CBN Mega More. Yeah. So in night textures, we use the snow if we want to assemble the snow, like the, the, the shadows on the lights. Then we also use this. Perhaps we also, oh, we don't need to. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. I think that's fine. Good, uh, then let's build that and let's see how it now looks. CBN Mega, CBN Mega Mall. By the way, I wonder, do we have enough space left? Yeah, we have the files are a little bit large. Okay, CBN Mega Mall. There we go. Okay, so DS. That is fine. We did the last video. Okay, let's go with ES. Aha, there we go. Yeah, we still have a little bit of snow. 
Ja. Mhm. Mhm. Sure. I think this looks pretty decent. Ja. Yeah. Nice. Okay, and RS. Yeah. RS. Yeah, we have the burns. Yeah, this also looks nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, and then we can continue with RSN and so on. Uh, night textures. Um, we are currently on main branch. How about we create already a new branch? Texture minus CVN. What do we already have? Hold on. CVN. No, we don't. Create. Uh, texture minus CBN mega mal. We are at 45%. <laughs> yeah, it's good. When the, let the CPU work, right? Okay. So next step, we want to, we want to start looking at our night texture. Okay, how do we do this? Mm. Okay, the first thing we need to go to CBN Mega Mall. We have night textures here. Good. Uh, how about but we close our TIFF textures. We don't need them open anymore. Okay, actually on that note, we can also We can also clean up here our this data here. Mm -hmm. SG. Okay. Ah, by the way, this one we need to rename to Alpha S. Yeah. Okay. DSG. ES. Okay, this is all done. Great. Good. Uh, then we can close uh, winter textures as well. We don't need them right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, instead, we will. Mm, you can also close E. And R. Okay. And instead, we will open. First, we can also delete these guys here. Uh, process these. So we have ESN, we have EN, RN, and RSN. Right. Okay. So are these used? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, all use. Let's open our build file. Optional items. There we go. Then here we create CB CB and Mega Mall EN. 
en ESN RN and RSN RSN okay so that is already covered and then we put that down here CBN mega mall EN oops RN ESN RSN fixes incorrect night lights gets okay that is done then I think we can already delete this from here don't need that anymore excellent good then next step let's start looking at our night textures so n let's start with n and g dng and dn here here Okay, and for this we have um, we have TGA textures N and G D N D N G. Yeah, there we go. Okay, ah right, that has this wired lights. Yeah extremely wide lights mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> mm. Okay, so what looks wild to me is A, the spacing is not good, right? So that needs to be fixed. Um, here we have a light at the bottom of the red house, so that needs to be fixed. And then we have here really weird sh shapes or dirt without any blur in the windows it looks like dirt but it's probably supposed to be like shadows right so but that doesn't look good mm. yeah yeah i guess this one here is okay this is okay this is okay this is also well, it's wild here, but okay. Yeah. I think we need to remake all these lights here. But we can use these things here. Yeah. Let's look at it. CBN. CBN Mega. No? CPN Mega Mod um, N. Yeah, let's see, what does it look like? <laughs> I mean, it, I think this Mr. Green looks really interesting, though. I think it's. It looks pretty cool. This color, I like this color. Yeah. Gives it a nice touch. But this pink here, oi, 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 oi. Mm. No, the pink, the, that doesn't work. Especially because you have up here is yellow and then you have pink here. That, that makes no sense. And this blue also is weird. Guess, yeah. I, 
guess we can have like some blue tint here, but it should be something in between this yellow and this blue, some some blend. Yeah. It doesn't it looks weird? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it, it it looks also weird because it looks as if there's dirt, like huge dirt or damage on the windows. It looks weird. I mean, some dirt is fine, but like, why is it so local here? Like, they only clean down here or what's happening? Or the birds shit against this? <laughs> What is happening? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we need to remake the, um, the window lights because of the shapes, the lights, the colors and, uh, and the shadows. Yeah, there's enough reasons to remake it. Yeah, meanwhile, I don't quite like this one here. This looks weird. I wonder if we can do anything about it. Mm. Yeah, and here on this one, perhaps uh, we could make the whites here a little bit brighter. Maybe. Okay, so let's take this N here and copy it in here. Okay, so this is CBN Mega Mall N dot TGA goods. Um, let's create a light N. Mm. Let's do a Recreate recreate free window lights. Well, it's just called free window lights. And then we have entrance entrance lights and. Ah, uh, green windows lights and black window lights. What was the order we used here? Free windows, green windows, entrance. And mega windows, apparently. Mega windows. Good. Mega windows. Window lights. And. Okay, does that make sense? Green window lights. Entrance lights. Okay. All right, then first we start with black foundation, black, 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 good. 
so the entrance lights are here those by the way before we start let's put a levels here yeah so entrance lights Okay, so we put black here. Yeah, and here. Oh, and we also have tube windows. Tube windows, window lights, and black. Okay, mega windows are here. They overlap. Okay, looks like we need to On this okay here we have some same uh, weird artifacts let's see tube windows uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay so tube windows it's very higher here we also have some weird artifacts yeah let's put um Fix a uh, symbol. Uh, it's called cube symbol. Black. And we put a black here. Maybe also put it here. Yeah. Okay, then green lights, we put that here. And we make this black. And the entrance lights, no, the, the free windows we got here. Put that here. Like that, black. Good. All right. So
So. The windows are gone. Done. Ship it. Good. Mm. Now something still looks weird here. Weird that they have this line here. Hmm. Do they have it here? No. Perhaps we should uh, remove this here as well. On the entrance lights here, like that. Yeah. Okay, then hmm, there's one more here. Yeah, there we go. Good. Then we have a foundation to work on. Now, here I'm wondering. Uh, fix cube symbol. How about we make um, we take a circle here and we put that on here. Perfect circle. No, it's not perfect. That's good. And then we put that to white. And then we set that to soft light. And that makes things a little bit brighter in the center. Hot lights, no. overlay. Yeah. Perhaps 40. Perhaps that will look a little bit more interesting when it's a bit brighter. Let's see how that looks. Oops. Okay, save. Oops. All right, let's build this. Oh, your pick is uh, starting to review how it changes. That's good. Okay, then when he's done, we can we can process his process his comments. <sighs> okay, did we build or not? I can't even remember. All right, CBN Mega, CBN Mega Mall N, N, N. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, this looks li maybe a little bit more interesting now. There's a brighter light. Yeah. Yeah, some more catchy. Yeah. Good.
Okay, and the other stuff is pretty pretty bright already. Mm. Yeah. Good. Yeah, this um hmm. What can we do about this one? This looks pretty bad. Mm. Hmm. Well, it also looks bad on daylight, that we know. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. But it looks even worse on night. <laughs> um, how about we take this, copy, and, oops, and, uh, fix cube symbol, cube light, cube light, and then we do a fix banner light, and by the way, on that note, on the banner, why don't we also illuminate this banner here? I think that would look pretty cool, right? Let's do that. Gives it a bit more, more color. Actually, hold on. Green windows. Ah, the so windows are illuminated. Yeah, we will see later once we made the windows how it looks. Maybe it's too much colors. Okay, so we have, oops. So we have this thing here, yeah. Let's uh, put a, let's put a mask here. So this is CBN Mega Mall without anything. Good. And it's brighter this way. What's so weird is that it's not straight. Like this banner is not straight, right? It's weird. But okay. Okay, how can we deal with this? Um, oof. side billboard let's duplicate this to n fix side billboard yeah okay can we we need to create a mask somehow I guess mask Select color range, white. Let's take a selection. Uh, select color range, this white. Yeah, we take a lot of fuzziness. And then we create a mask. And we invert this mask. 
Yeah. Let's put a black background. Black. Yeah, black. By the way, before we do that, oh, 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 oh. yeah, it's be larger. Oops. Yeah. Oof, what happened here? Okay, the black needs to go out of the mask. Needs to go in here. Okay, now it looks like this, which looks pretty bad. <sighs> hmm. Bah. This thing is chaos. Hmm. Problem is also we don't see much of the symbols. Like it's really hard to mask it. Hmm. Okay, what happens if we put a uh, levels here? And. Should select inverts, make this black. Then we have levels here, and how about we make it brighter? Oof, oof. Okay, looks wild. How about we desaturate it a little bit? Looks still wild. Now yeah. I don't know what to do about this thing. Perhaps ah, I have another idea. How about yeah? So we have uh, this billboard. Let's remove the mask. Let's take a look at this billboard here. Here. It looks absolutely wild. Uh. Mm. Okay, how about we create a. Yeah, we disable this. We remove this. And we just create a. Gradient, gradient, well, yeah, gradient, rectangle, and we put our rectangle here to here, yeah, and we put uh, 
Um, to inner shadow. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah, something like this. Yeah. For a fifty. Yeah. Size four, three, four. Yeah, let's try. That's oh, quite dark, isn't it? Mm, we need to set it to 50 and then we reduce the opacity to 85 perhaps yeah and then gradient let's put it in the photo Gradient here. Let's call this shadow well, rectangle. And then we create another one. Minus this. Okay. This one we make black. Yeah. Call this black outer shadow inner. Okay, and then we remove our mask. We simply put this here. Remove the mask. Do we still need this black here? No. Can we remove that? Okay, so maybe this would be interesting. It, it focuses the lights more on the inner of the billboard. It gets rid of the white edges, right? So perhaps that is good enough. Let's let's test this. It would be a relatively uncomplicated way to deal with this situation. C B N C B N Mega. C B N Mega Mod N here. Okay. Oof, oof. Hmm. Hmm. I think it still looks weird because because it's white on the outside on the daylight. See and mega. Hmm. I think part of the problem is it's that it has white outer edges. If we go to this one here. Fix side billboards, clean edges. Good, so you made this there. What if we put, we have this yellow here, yeah? We take this and then we put this here. Let's call this yellow, yeah? 
Wow, that's... <laughs> anyway, it's set it to darken. Yeah, it has some issues. But basically, we, we want to make the surroundings yellowish. And then we say here... Uh, let's uh, make a copy here over those. Okay, and then we make a, a shape and we invert this. And that should solve the inner edges. Yeah. It looks wild in the mask, but I think it's okay. Okay, how about that? Yellow. Okay, then let's duplicate this to N. N. Let's see how this looks. Fixed side billboard, we put that here. Yeah. Yeah. We save this. Let's build this. C B N Mega C B N Mega mm. Okay, so now the billboard is yellow all around. Oh, uh, is that true? Perhaps uh, we should make it the outer edge yellow as well, just in case, yeah. We can't make this yellow, I think. Do we have some yellow cast on this? No. Okay, how does this look on N? Yeah, it's a bit better, I would say. Okay, but it's too much, it's too much feather. Okay, well, I think it's already a tiny bit better than the original. It's not much, but let's, uh, I mean, obviously it's, it would be impossible to make it look super nice at this resolution, <laughs> but at least a little bit, right? Okay, so let's let go back to this once more. And here on the yellow, we also make this yellow here. Oops. Uh, here. That, that, paste, yellow. Okay. Then we duplicate this once more to N, N. And we have it in here, 
good. Okay, let's... The Shadow Inner. Yeah. Let's... Let's be less extreme here. Let's remove the noise. Mm. How about we do this? Okay. Save. Save. C, B, N, Mega, N, Shoff, It also looks like to me that they tilted this texture mapping. <laughs> okay, how about so 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 this light this uh, edge here is not straight, right? You see here at the top, it's darker, and then here it gets bright. So this is not straight. This edge. Okay, so I think this means we cannot, we would have to rotate it or... Hmm. I mean, yeah, we can rotate it. It's kind of wild. Okay, let's take this shape. Black outer. Remove this, put this in here. Subtract. How about that? I think that's really wild. Let's see. C, B, N, Mega Mall. C, B, N. Looks like we need to we need we need to drag this a little bit. Tools snap. Okay. 
darker, maybe like this. How about in our shadow? Perhaps it should be a little weaker. 70, 75. Just to get rid of this bright outer edge. Right. Okay. Let's build this. Oh boy. CBN Mega, CBN Mega Mall, N. Mm -hmm. I can't control this somehow. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's not perfect. I think it will do. Yeah, maybe it's a bit too black here on the edge. Yeah. So. Looks like it needs to be rotated a little bit more. Need to rotate this a tiny bit more. Maybe. Let's repeat. Okay, let's take this black outer subtract. Okay, let's test this build CBN Mega. Yeah, I think this is the best we can get now. I mean, it's not it's not pretty because of the resolution. But from far away, it works. I mean, from really far away, it really works, right? So I guess, I guess we can keep it. Yeah, it's okay. It's not pretty, but I think it's a little bit better than the original. That's all that matters. Okay, good. Let's let's keep it like that. So that's the original, and that's a remake. Yeah, it's a tiny improvement. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Good. Then let's close all this. Black we can delete. Good, we're making progress. Now, obviously, we then also need to duplicate this yellow thingy here that we did to all the other um, to all the other textures. But we can do this. We can do this at another time. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, what's the time now? One hour forty. Yeah. 
Okay, so what do we do now? We have a tube. I think we already have a lot of shapes for all the windows thingies. So uh, we can copy this from the alpha channel. Um, from the mega mall. Yeah. Da, da, da. Okay. I think we start with the entrance. So let's uh, duplicate here this alpha channel. Put that into N. And we put this up here. And then here, entrance, doors, and windows. And there we go. Copy this. Entrance. Mm -hmm. Let me create here. Shapes. All right. How about we create shapes for all of them while we edit? Let's do it in one go. Shapes. Shapes. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then we take green windows we have here. Copy. There we go. Then three windows here. Copy. Here. All right. And mega windows here. Mm -hmm. Mega windows. Mega windows. There's some gaps. Okay, so Mega Windows, we need to copy this. And then we need to copy the Mega Window gaps. Copy. And then. And then we need to paste those gaps. And then gaps we set to subtract. Right. That may work. Okay, and then we have the tubes. Copy. Okay. Okay, so I think we have created all the shapes. Good. Let's see. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. That looks good. All right, then we can start creating lights. So the the da, da, da. the original entrance. Oh, the light looks extreme. It looks so greenish. Lime, whoa, it's somewhere between green and yellow. How about we move it more into the yellow? Yeah, move it more into yellow. And then we put that in here. No, here, shapes. Fill this. There we go. Okay, so this will be our base color. Let's do also the base colors for all the other things. Um, the green windows. Yeah, these have very nice, interesting color. So the base color is green, but then they have some 
yellow painted over. So how about for the base we use a green, which is like here maybe, this. Yeah, let's take this green here. And then we fill it here. There we go. Okay. And then our free windows. What do we have there? Free. So here we have oh yeah, yeah. So the the dominant color is this this light blue, right? So we also have some yellows in here. <sighs> okay, how about we take a, this blue as base, but so it's sitting here between green and blue, cyan. Hmm. How about we desaturate it a bit, make it more whitish? Yeah. Like so. How about that? Let's see how that looks. Yeah. We'll see how that blends with the underlying texture. I mean, the underlying texture is kind of blue as well, right? Here, yeah, this one. So it makes sense that the uh, light is also blue. But perhaps it should not be as extreme. Perhaps this is good enough. Okay, let's save this for now. Okay, mega windows. Mega. Uh, so there we have wild colors, some yellow and pink. I mean, how about we just put the same color as the entrance? I think that is fair. Then it also adds a little bit of consistencies. I think that's what we could. Yeah. 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 Good. And then we still have the tube. Here, yeah, the tube. And that is super green. So we take this green here. Mm, here, this here. Here. Oh, whoops, we have picked the wrong one. Here. There we go. Okay, so that are our base colors for all the windows. Some dark green, some brighter green, well, let's say saturated green, something that's more bluish green, yellows, and here blue, blue white lights, yeah. Okay, I think this is good foundation. Let's see if the shapes look good in principle. I mean, here it will now shine over the free billboard, but that's okay for now, actually. Yeah, we we'll get to that, that's okay. Okay, let's build this. CBN, 
CDN Mega Mall. N. Good. All right. Yeah. I think this yeah looks good. The screen also good. The light blue, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. quite bright here the slides mm. mm. perhaps it should be a bit darker this one here um, the free window lights here yeah. Let's make this darker. Oh, maybe it's a bit too dark. Let's go to 80. Let's go to 84. Okay. Yeah, this could be okay for now. Okay. I'm not so happy with uh, with this yellow, but uh, hmm. Hmm. It looks a bit weird. Maybe. So before we had a pink on the mega windows. Hmm. I mean, making that pink wouldn't make much sense, I think. No, we should probably keep it yellowish. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with this for now. I really like, I like this color and this green. It, this works well together. The light blue, yeah, we have to see. I think the colors are certainly interesting. Yeah. Hmm. And making this pink, wow. I think that would be a little bit over the top. Hmm. Yeah. <sighs> well, maybe we can mix a little bit of pink back in there, but it shouldn't be as extreme, I guess. I don't know. Okay, what's the time? One hour fifty-four. I think it's a good time to take a break yeah yeah break wouldn't be too bad I think okay so we got done the ES RS we started with a night texture uh, we still then need to update this billboard thingy here maybe um, take a note for this so I don't forget uh, to do um, update billboard uh, updates uh, billboards yellow back yellow background to all textures 
on, on all textures. Yeah. Okay. So let's see if. Uh, oh yeah, Yarpik is spamming the feedback. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, then I think we can do this next video. We go through all his um, feedback. By the way, how about we invite Yarpik to our to our server? Invite to server game patch. Yeah, so you can uh, also join discussion here. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Then um, I will take a break now. Um, next video. I will. I will go through the comments from Yarpik and fix it. And then we continue with the Mega Mall textures. Uh, member system. Okay. Then Okay, uh, anything else? I don't think so. We made progress. Texture obviously is still super low risk, <laughs> but that's the way it is. Yeah. I don't know, how big is this thing? Let me see. CBN, CBN, Mega uh, G. Oh, it is not a small building, right? The flag is here, relatively small. So in game, it's maybe like this, maybe. Yeah. Sure. I think the texture is not too shabby from far away. It looks okay. Certainly upscale would be good. But I think before upscale, this wall can be improved by, by, by uh, increasing the number of tiles on it. And this thing, as I mentioned in previous videos, we should downscale, like make this, the thing smaller, this object, this mesh. Because it's, it, it's, it's wild. <laughs> it's super big. It makes no sense. Like it would be appropriate to have it like in front of this white wall in a small, smaller size. Yeah. And not clip over this door here and over this window. Yeah. Yeah, I think we had already this documented. Yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice concept though. All right, then uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Maybe you learned something. This meanwhile, this computer will still crunch through the textures. We are forty nine percent complete. Look at that, beautiful. Uh, ETA twenty three hours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is advancing good uh, then uh, i wish you a great day or night until next time goodbye